Paris Chief of Staff, Kiyari, Herufai, Kingi B, prep up against Sinumbu. Although the next general election cycle is more than three years away, it is becoming clearer that the North is indeed serious in ensuring that the presidency does not leave the zone. Investigations by the Nigerian Express indicate that the so-called Kaba has been secretly screening possible successors to President Mohamed Buhari. It is no secret that some political stakeholders in the North are not hiding their feelings about retaining the presidency post-2023. The National President of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, Malam Yerima Usman Shetima, who claims to be speaking the mind of the North, has severally asserted that the region still holds the as far as 2023 is concerned, according to rational system, is unconstitutional and anti-democratic. However, checks from authoritative quarters in the North and especially around the presidential villa, Abuja have confirmed that a list of would-be successors to Buhari is being compiled and fine-tuned periodically. It would be recalled that President Buhari recently said he would like to stay clear of the selection process for his successor. He spoke in reaction to the call by the renowned cleric and founder of the later Rain Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari, who advised the president to anoint his successor to avoid Luther's taking over after him. The president insisted, however, that he would not impose his successor on the nation or influence the choice of any candidate within his party, the All Progressive Congress, APC. A source close to the seat of power, however, said at the same time he would prefer a candidate with integrity and with zero tolerance for corruption to succeed him. The source even mentioned a name among the ministers that is said to be so dear to the heart of the president. According to our source, the current chief of staff to the president, Abakari, tops the list of the presidential materials being considered. Kiari, who is being referred to as the kingmaker, is said to be closely followed by Ambassador Babangana Kingibe. Ambassador Kingibe was the vice presidential candidate to the late Bashorun M.K. Abiola of the defunct Social Democratic Party, SDP, during the annulled 1993 presidential election. It is on record that the highly respected technocrat with political acumen has not left the corridors of power since then, either openly or behind the scene. It is even being rumored that King Ibe may run along with the Imo State born current Minister of State for Education, Chukwe Meka Wanjuba. Imo State is under the control of APC, a situation that has given Wanjuba the needed home base. Other names that are being considered according to a source who is a top member of the ruling APC include the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, Mohammed, Mohammed Musabelu, who is being touted as Buhari's replica, going by his zero tolerance for corruption. In another camp, the names of the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, and that of the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman H. Adamu are also being scrutinized for the topmost job. The governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasai Rufai, who was once FCT minister, is also said to be on the list of another camp. Air Rufai, according to our checks, is being considered along with the former two times governor of River State and current minister of transport, Chibike, Chibike Rutimi Amichi, who has also been River State. House of Assembly Speaker. Other serving governors who are said to be on the list of another independent camp, camp in the north are the governors of Sukutu and Kebi State, Aminu, Waziri, Tambua, and Abubakar Atiku, Bagudu, respectively. Although Tambua is currently in the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, it is being envisaged that with the situation of the state house of assembly that is being controlled by the APC, the governor may see defect back to the party as he was solidly involved in its formation. The camp, as source revealed, is toying with the idea of pairing the governor of River State, Inyosa Wike, with Tambua as vice, as vice. Wike, who is also in the PDP, is also suspected to be an APC sympathizer. Hmm. Interestingly, 
Only two names from the southwest are said to be visible on the alleged northern list. A reliable source close to some powerful voices in the north said that should there arise the strong need to look southwards for a candidate for the former governor of Lagos State, Babatunde Raju Fashola, SAN, and the governor of Ikiti State, Dr. John Kayo Defiemi, JKF, are likely to be considered. Fashola, who was seen as a super minister during President Buhari's first term in office, with three portfolios in one, now handles what? Yes, now handles the Ministry of Works and Housing. Wife Fayemi, who is serving his second term as governor, has also been the Minister of Solid Mineral Resources. The two are considered to be Villa Boys. Interestingly, our checks reveal that the same, the name of another former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the APC, Ashwaji Bola Ametinumbu, is missing on the list because of his perceived independence and may not be easy to manipulate. Hmm. Sinumbu's political prowess, competence, capability to deliver and ability to organize formable party is not in doubt. The fear of his independent mindedness may shoot him out of control of the Kaba if eventually becomes president. The source close to one of the camps confided in our correspondence. According to him, the fear that Inumbu would execute and implement restructuring agenda is making some powerful political stakeholders in the north uncomfortable to go for him as Buhari's successor in 2023. He is eminently qualified, no doubt, but there is much to that when the issue of power handling is the matter, the source added. But when contacted for comments, Shetima, the AYCF president, said none of the said candidates on a rumored list is our candidate. According to him, when the time comes to consider candidates for the job, we will make our findings known to the whole world after extensive consultations with our revered elders in the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, and other relevant stakeholders. What they are doing is not against any law. What I am saying is that nobody should take their decisions as sacrosanct and binding on all of us as they a criteria to be examined uh, at the fullest of time in choosing who succeed Muhammad Buhari amongst us, he added. While spelling out some of the criteria Chetima said, competence, experience, capacity to deliver and vast exposure would play major roles in the election processes. At the end of the day, a pan-Nigeria of northern origin who has the overall interests of the country at heart would emerge as a collective choice, he said. However, reactions have been trailing the alleged stand of the North to produce Buhari's successor against the unwritten rotation agreements between the two regions of North and South. Human rights activists and president's campaign of dignity in governance, CDG, Comrade Razak Ulukoba, said for the sake of mutual trust and peaceful coexistence in the country, Power should move southwards in 2023. Olokoba, in a chat with her correspondent in Lagos, appealed to the North to reconsider their stand on the rotational presidency, reminding that the gentleman agreement on power shift is for the sake of peace, tranquility, and social political stability in the country. While preferring power to move down to the southwest in 2023, the political analyst said the region can boast of millions of capable hands that are eminently qualified to take up the mantle of nation, nation building and continue the good work that President Buhari would bequeath to the country. Citing an example, Ulokoba mentioned Fashola as a good material to succeed President Buhari, saying he has passed our integrity test. According to him, Fashola as former Lagos State Governor and later Minister has stayed clear of the dubiously controversial double salary duped monthly pension for former governors, their deputies and others. This singular development that stands Fashola out and shoulder high among his peers is another testimony that Fashola's integrity is still intact as ever before and thereby scale through our last quarter of the year integrity test. The glorious achievements 
on the brand new road networks across the country, praised by everybody, including the opposition like the Second Niger Bridge, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, and other good examples of Fashola's continuous achievement in office. In addition, he has revived the national housing program that was abandoned 34 years ago with mortgage scheme that would guarantee affordable shelter for Nigerians, Ulukoba said. Also reacting, a chief of the APC in Lagos and member of the State Governor's Advisory Council, GAC, Chief Larry Razak, Razak described Sinumbu as a unique man who has molded some important personalities in the country. Razak, however, regretted that with all the good work Sinumbu has been doing for humanity and party politics, some people still don't see anything commendable in him. He said, we have a lot of armchair critics who don't see anything good or whatever Tinubu does. Mention any state that has stable governance and continuous development like Lagos. This is because Tinubu has been playing the role of a leader such that after his tenure as governor, he laid a standard structure for the state to continue to grow and develop. He's a wonderful man that is naturally gifted in human capital development. Look at the political terrain in Nigeria today. You will hardly find the likes of Tinubu around. Those you worked hard to develop are now giving back to the country. Those who know what Tinubu means for Nigeria have continued to defend him, letting others understand that Tinubu is naturally gifted and is impacting knowledge and ability on others, the elder statesman said. So ahead of 2023 presidential election, Razak declared that Tinubu is the best material the Southwest would support if he declares to contest. He said that what Nigeria needs is the best material for the job to succeed Buhari, adding that Sinubu still stands shoulder higher than most of the people being canvassed for. When due regard and respect to her brother, with due regard and respect to her brother, Vice President Yomi Shibayo is a lawyer of fine reputation, but nobody would have known him in the political circle if Sinubu had not found and built him what nigerians often say is that leadership is the bane of our development if we then found a good leader with all the qualities required to deliver then we should put religion out of it we need to talk of how we can have a country where there is peace development and appropriate infrastructure razak added according to him Tinubu is a tested person at the state level in business circles and is a man that has the capacity and rigor of running a nation. So he's my candidate and we are appealing to him to please come out and serve his country. I am sure he will accept the offer, Razak noted. On how can the Southwest harmonize ahead of the general election, Razak said, Razak said there is hardly any region without crisis when it comes to the party politics. He noted that power is not saved in Lataka anywhere and people must fight for it. People struggle and work to get what they want. We are aware of what people are saying and I can assure you that we have sufficient crisis management mechanisms that the leadership of the party will deploy at the appropriate time. What you consider as a crisis may be a strength to get things done, he assured. So guys, uh, you've heard the narratives from this uh, article. Honestly, I just weep in my heart. All these people are just trying to, they just praise themselves unduly. They praise themselves unduly. What do we even have now? What do we have now that they are saying Buhari will hand over uh, his good work? To who? I don't even understand. Even what has Buhari even done in the first place? That is the question. Somebody will come and say, yo, he has done this and that. Of course, we, we, we can see what is happening. What, what can you just even say that, you know, has been done that can really make you to, be, to say that you are proud of Nigeria? You look at all these people that have you know, been mentioned here and there. Me be mentioned here and there because a lot of people don't even know most is when people just see people that will give them little money or they see somebody that will just project them. Oh, this person is highly connected. That is the definition of good, good leader in this country. With all of these things, all of these things, they have been able to hold one 
position or the other. Tell me what has come out of the whole thing. See Nigeria as a whole. It's not, there's nothing to write to me about Nigeria. Nothing at all. We are just moving around circles. Are we not supposed to be competing, in, competing with the uh, uh, developed countries at this stage? See the stage we, are, we, see, we see found ourselves. They will just be praising themselves for nothing. I, I honestly, I, I can't just even see anything good that they are even talking about. Those who they are talking about, hey, this one has been this, this one has been that. With all of those people that you said they have been this, they have been that, they have done this. See where we are today. See, they are just praising themselves for nothing. What can we now pinpoint that we have achieved with all of those things that it, all, they have said that this particular person did? Oh, this one is, uh, uh, is, is building people, building walls. Uh, uh, this one has integrity, uh, corruption, uh, this and that. With all of those things, can someone pinpoint one thing that we have achieved with all these uh, praises that they are singing to themselves? Hey, this one has been governor before. This one has been this one before. This one has integrity. This one. With all of that, what can we pinpoint? What can we boast of? Just beautiful nonsense. Beautiful nonsense. They can be deceiving people. People that they can give you granite. Granite and uh, 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 Gary. Those are the people they can deceive. Oh, people just they start worshipping. They love people that will worship them. Someone is saying, uh, uh, they have not been able to say anything uh, in their region. They are going to come out. It has to be this. It has to be that. It has to be from this region. Uh, it has to be retained in this region. Power this and power that. With all the buari, all the, all the, all the hype, see where we are found ourselves. Nothing. We are just moving back with all of these people. I don't even know who is going to take up the mantle in this country that will do the needful. Not uh, uh, because of this one. It's just irritating to me. It's irritating at this at this stage and stage uh, uh, at this uh, uh, stage that we are in this age and time. They are still rotating themselves with all the whatever the the, the experiences they've they've gathered like a calendar. See where we are in this country now. A vice president. Uh, he has this and that. With all of those things now, where are we? What have we done? It's unfortunate. So, guys, I'll leave your comments down in the comment section. Thank you very much. For